Hey everyone, and welcome back. Feels like it's been forever since we've hung out and just streamed some games. I know it hasn't been that long, it's only been like a couple of weeks, but still, part of me missed like our Friday night stream. You know, and all those things were a little difficult on my end. I was always in the background. I was like, I can't wait to get to doing videos again. I can't wait to be back. And tonight, we are finally back. So, welcome everyone. Tonight, we're going to be trying out Garlic, which is supposed to be some kind of action platformer with a bunch of retro references and throwbacks. So, hopefully, we're going to have some fun tonight. Hey, Mr. Smiley. Hey, Flyer TX. Hey, Jumping Bear. Welcome back to the stream, guys. Um, I just need a couple of seconds. I need to check something out. Uh, okay. I know. Maybe my microphone. Maybe you guys can't tell the difference, but the microphone program was not and whatnot. So maybe, maybe my voice was a little weird there for a sec. But yes, hey, welcome back, thank you. And by the way, I just want to say, I know I said it at the beginning of my last video, but I really want to thank everyone for the awesome comments you left. Uh, it was really, honestly, even though I wasn't answering back, because honestly, mentally, I wasn't like in a mood to, to answer back. I was reading each and every comment that you guys were leaving, and it really, it, it really did make a difference and made me feel better um, during a harder time. So thank you all, guys. But we're not going to talk about that tonight because I really want to be positive. I want to have some fun. I want to play the brand new game. And Damon's already whistling because he's a little baby dog and he's upstairs alone. The wife is out of the house tonight and she's actually not going to be back before tomorrow morning. So we've got the house to ourselves tonight. But that does mean I have to take care of the two animals. And Damon's already jealous that I'm down here with all of you. So I need 30 seconds to let him in and set him up behind me. And then we are going to get going, guys. some backup for tonight. The music is a little loud, I'll lower it more. I already lowered it, but let's lower it a little more. It felt like it was going to be loud to me too. Here's my little Damon. He actually just got back from getting uh, groomed. So he's smelling good, he's looking good. They gave him his little scarf, his little red scarf that he gets every time he gets groomed. But uh, yeah, so he is good to go tonight. But he's been a little baby dog. So we're gonna set him up beside me. We're gonna have some backup tonight. Ugh. There we go. Okay, now we're set up, we're good to go. I'm gonna be using my SN30 Pro 2 tonight. We're gonna be using, since this is supposed to be a 2D, 2D retro style platformer, we're gonna go straight in for it. So. Uh, I checked the options, not much there. We've got language, sound, and music settings. So no control settings, no anything. So we're gonna jump straight into story mode. Uh, let's go here. And there we go. Ooh. Let's get going. Zone one. Okay, so we've got jump on the B button and we've got a crazy dash on the Y. For the moment, I don't seem to have any attack buttons. So let's get started. Okay, we can wall jump. Okay, we dash into enemies. I don't know, but I'm getting One Punch Man vibes from this. Like, I'm getting retro anime vibes from the character. And quick like that, I'm thinking One Punch Man. Oh, that didn't work. I thought that was, like, diagonal up. Can I go diagonal? Let's see. Yes, I can. That's weird. 
Uh, I think I have to jump then diagonal. Okay, so we kill him. Go here. There we go. And now they're showing us that we can jump, we can dash basically in every direction. And Damon, what are you doing? Damon almost fell off the chair. You okay, my little guy? Hey? No, you can't go down though. You have to stay seated if you want to stay down here. So you have to stay behind behind daddy, okay? <laughs> so we can dash apparently in every direction, including down. So that is good to know. Honestly, I heard it was decent. I spoke with Alex a little earlier. He told me that he tried the game and that it was pretty good. So I am uh, looking forward to this. So what are they trying to explain? Dash. So jump, dash, down. And then you can do a power jump up. Interesting. Interesting. So you can really do like... A and this. No. How do I get that like little uh, flip move going? Not too sure, but we're gonna figure it out later on. Let's get moving. But that uh, that ground jump thing is really cool. Okay. Yeah, me too. I'm going to do a little Street Fighter 6 tonight, my man, Mr. Smiley. We're going to be jumping into a little Street Fighter 6 later on tonight. So you want to climb the Sacred Tower, eh? The Cyber Goddess will grant your wish only if you reach the top. But you may lose your life too. Hmm. Okay, sure. I guess we just have to go in there. I thought the tower was right there and we had to we had to climb it, but apparently not. We have to go in the door first. And grab a little drink of beer here, guys. You were thinking the Piccolo training outfit? You are right. You are right. That is it does look like the Piccolo training outfit as well. Okay, so we can just dash through these enemies. And that was not the plan, though. So we've got wraparound screens. So far, I'm glad controls are extremely responsive. So I'm, I'm purposely like doing little hops back, left and right. And honestly, controls are extremely responsive, extremely crisp, which is really good for a platformer like this. Sometimes these platformers have like floaty controls and that's like just the worst. We'll just do that mega jump there. We got there. I like the wraparound design on the screens. Makes you think a little bit outside the box. Ouch. Oh, we're, okay, we're just right back here. Gotta make sure that we don't over jump that one. And honestly, I like this mix of graphics. Like, the graphics are simple, but the colors, there's a really nice use of them. Like, really good saturation. Soundtrack is okay so far, but I'm not, like, amazed. What the heck? I, I dashed there. I was sure I, I got him. Okay, 
Oh, dang. I wanted to hit him and... I'm not sure how the hit meter works there, because I took a hit and all I did was dash and then I was okay again. That was unfortunate. Now I'm making a bunch of mistakes. as well. So it's weird because sometimes the screen you can low you can go back down, other times you can't. It is looking like infinite lives, but I think my score is resetting each time. Someone can get it can maybe correct me if they if they can see the score on the top left. But I'm at zero now. And I'm pretty sure the score wasn't at zero before that. You found a garlic coin. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still wondering. It's funny because garlic was actually one of the bad guys in one of the original Dragon Ball movies, wasn't he? Wasn't he like a little guy that g actually got uh, immortality? He was like the first Dragon Ball Z movie or no, not even Z. I think it was before Z. It was like the first Dragon Ball movie was against Garlic or Garlic Jr. It was Garlic Jr. It was Garlic Jr. And he actually wishes for infinite for immortality with the Dragon Balls. Tony, to answer your question, I'm using the uh, Pro 2. Since we're playing a 2D platformer, obviously I'm going to be using my favorite 2D platformer controller, the Pro 2. Yeah, he steals Infant Gohan. Yeah, that's it. I, I actually really liked that movie. It was one of the early ones, but although Dragon Ball gets crazy later on, I find that some of the best martial arts sequences are in some of the first movies. There's that one that has some really good martial arts sequence fights and the one where he's fighting Turles. I found that like the one thing I, I'm sort of disappointed in Dragon Ball over the years is it's all become about like superpower but we've lost a little bit of the martial arts, the artsiness. You know what I mean? Like it's all about like key blasts and 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 like who who can, who can hit the hardest. But when it was earlier on, it was all about like the you know the amazing skills, not only the power levels, but the skills that the, that, that the fighters had. Um. So this is this old cryptocurrency is now the only real money in this new world. Hmm. Might be a little bit of a undertoned message there. What the heck is this? Dang, that's a boss fight already. We just can't get hit in a short period of time, I guess. I think I have to get him into the fire. That was it. I just have to basically bait him into the fire. <laughs> that was actually pretty freaking funny. And the design was like totally like outworldly, but it, it it feels like a little bit like Mario Brothers. You know what I mean? Like where original Mario Brothers, all you had to do was get King Koopa into the fire and you, you sort of you sort of win. Like you could hit him with like three fireballs or was it four fireballs and, and, and kill him? But you could also... So yeah, it's just time, basically. You, you have, like, one hit point. But um, it recharges automatically over time. Oh, we got a heart. Is this going to give us, like, a second hit point? Honestly, guys, I'm liking this so far. This is, this is, feeling, uh, this is feeling, like, really fun. I am liking it. Now, what you're gonna, what you guys, your job is to check if my if my cryptocurrency resets when I die, because I'm undoubtedly gonna die at one point. Your guys' job is to see if the cryptocurrency. So we did lose the heart. The heart was an extra hit point. Interesting. Seriously though, I'm really digging the vibe of the the graphics here. Like, I really like the fact that. Super simple, 
but they're really switching the saturation of the graphics every time. Well, I'm going to make myself a little smaller because they're, they're, we, we, we seem to be playing in the corners a lot in this game. So I'm going to make sure you guys can see as much as possible. Okay, so we're going to just need to time this. In between the little spikes. Now there's a currency down there. Now these regen. Okay, we got that one. That one was not too bad. I'm wondering if I can just... Ah. Okay, that worked, but we didn't get the coin. I, I need to figure out the exact rules for jumping. I think every time I make contact with a new surface, I can I can dash again. Ooh, shice. Oof, that is uh that's a I get it. I get the system, but it's a little rough nonetheless. And my currency is not reset. Not reset. Yeah, exactly. They, 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 ah, there's not a lot of details overall, but the, the, wow. Okay, I'm, I'm really uh, bad here for this one. It's like the walls actually, it, it, like making contact with the wall is actually bad. It's like a precision action platformer. The one thing I am hoping is I'm really hoping that we, we are eventually going to get be, uh, more abilities. And this is this is pure piccolo pose, guys. This is pure piccolo pose. Come on. You can't get much more piccolo pose than this at the top. You know, when he's all standing at the top, arms crossed, cape fla flapping in the wind. So I think you guys are right. I was like one punch man, but no, nah, this is pure piccolo. <laughs> But that was not pure piccolo. That was actually unfortunate. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the super pose in the other one, but guess not. Here. Oof! That was, uh, that was like right, right at the edge. Now Topaz has come to on top of Damon be annoying tonight. So guys, just to let you know, this is going to be an animal intensive stream because we've got Damon here that is, I don't know, hanging off the side of the chair, trying to scope out what's on the floor. And now we've got Topaz throwing stuff off my desk. <sighs> the joys of having the house to myself, <laughs> yet at the same time, the difficult there, there are difficulties that come along with that. Uh, I needed to go on to the side of the wall. I'm, I'm, I'm a little... I was a little slow there on the pickup. Uh, I did it again. I love how you, like, split into, like, a, a bunch of, like... Well, I think we split into garlic cloves, actually, when we die. Oh, come on. The, the jumping mechanism is a little weird when you're on the walls, wall jumping. It's like you've really got to, you can't like just jump and right away dash. You've got to like wait like half a second and there I over dashed. Ugh. This section is, uh... It's not, I, I, I'm, I, it's not bad. I'm the one who's bad right now. But it's starting to show you probably where this game is going, like, platforming-wise. Oof! Checkpoint! So this is going to be one of those checkpoint-to-checkpoint -checkpoint games. Like, right now it's still not too bad, but I'm getting that feeling this is going to be one of those games that at one point 
just getting to the next checkpoint is gonna be like a torture. Ugh, like that. I wonder if I have the coin already. Because if I don't have to grab the coin again, which I do, it feels like it's gonna be so much easier if I don't have to worry about that god dang coin. I'm trying to get all the currency I can, just in case we eventually get to buy something cool. Oof, okay, we did it. Oof, we did it. Yeah, honestly, it is awesome. Definitely on a different level, okay? I don't want to compare it directly because, I mean, that Garrett game is almost incomparable. But I'm getting, like, slight Celeste vibes. Like, the way you grab off of things and you have to sort of, like, time your... This is that flip I couldn't do, man. We're, we're in trouble here, because this is a flip I couldn't do. But I guess not. I guess I was worrying for nothing. And now we're getting the Mario Flame Sticks. Ugh. I want to see the animation when I die to the fire. Hold on, guys. I really want to see the animation. So I'm going to purposely die to this one. I want to see it. <laughs> that is awesome. I love his face, man, when he dies. Like, it almost makes me want to see his death animation more often. And this... I think we're going to see it plenty. Okay, that is done. I wonder if when we change screens, it's an automatic checkpoint, even though we don't get the little... the little flag. I think it is, because I'm pretty sure there's uh, a couple of times that we died and I didn't get... Yeah, you see? So when you change screens, even if there's no, like, flag saying checkpoint, it is a checkpoint. Oh, man, I had that. This is getting nasty, man. This is getting, like, this is getting, like... I wanna... My god, I just wanna get to that other platform. Yeah, I have to take my time. Well, I wanna take my time, but at the same time I can't, because that one is really... Actually, maybe I can just jump to the back wall straight. No, I can't. I don't have the clearance for that. No, so we really have to, like, get the timing down to make it to that other platform, but it's such a shitty timing. Actually, yeah, I think it's easier if I go straight for the second platform. Okay, I think we're gonna get our first, like, this is gonna be, like, our first, like... I don't want to say... challenge, but... This one feels like I, I'm not one million percent sure how to do it. Oh. I guess like that. Oof. Okay. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you overthink it, it actually hurts. <laughs> what show? Uh, that animation reminds me of Bobo Bobo. I, I remember uh, uh, I remember Mojo Jo Jo in the freaking uh, what you may call it, and his face sort of looks like that when he when he. Thank you, Alex, man. Yes, I finally got it. Took me a little bit. Uh, so we're gonna refresh on the beer. We need the beer power to get us through this tonight. But honestly, Mojo Jo Jo. Yeah? In the uh, Powerpuff Girls. You know, that was that was an underrated show, Powerpuff Girls. Like, it, it was funnier than a lot of people put on. And, um... Exactly. Oh! <laughs> I 
I guess he's liking what he's seeing. He's in love. Reach the top of this sacred tower and I'll grant you your wish. Hmm. Three guesses what his wish is, guys, right now. <laughs> oh my god. Down with the thickness. We got it down with the thickness. <laughs> Topaz, you're driving me nuts. You're driving me just a little weeny bit nuts. Like, I've got already got your brother on my lap in, in the bed behind us. Thank you. Thank you for leaving. Oof. Reach the top and I'll grant your wish. Yeah, so three guesses, guys. What do you think his wish is? <laughs> hey, hey, get back here. What is this love meter? Is this how close we are to getting to the top? Never seen that love bar in my whole life, son. I wonder what that's about. The garlic coins, I know. I spent all mine, so I'm waiting for welfare now. The second floor is waiting for you now. So all of this was the first floor. Oh, we're switching up vibes here. I'm not sure I can wall jump here. I cannot. Can I multi jump? Is that it? Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, when you try too hard to figure out what they're trying to tell you, all you have to do is hold the up, not actually jump up. You are Galar, Garlic, the onion-headed silent fighter. But long is the road, and strewn with pitfalls. Uh, and some other stuff, too. The wine. Okay, so we've got to... I got it, so we've got to angle him around the poop. Very interesting. <laughs> okay. Is this a mini game or is this the actual level? Do we have a timer? Oh, plus five. So, poop or can? Poop or can? Oh, no. Okay, so cigarettes is a no to. Ah, poop! Dang it. Pooper can was too easy, so now it's poop can or cigarette. So cigarette is a no, can is a yes. Can is a yes. <laughs> Honestly, this game is a freaking, like... It's gonna be one of those new, like, indie titles that I'm gonna love for absolutely no reason. I'm getting, like, sudden Tanuki Justice feelings from the game. Love plus 35. Yay! Okay, so the closer... So we're trying to get, basically, we're trying to combine... Uh... How are you approaching? <laughs> so I'm guessing because there's a little, uh, like, exclamation point... It's not a good thing to touch the water. We could find out what happens if we touch it, because the animations are sometimes funny. <laughs> so I just purposely wanted to touch it. I wanted to see what the animation was. And once again, honestly, it's so funny because it, it doesn't take a lot to add a huge amount of vibe to a game. And those little animations when you get hit by something are freaking amazing. Who does this game? I'm, I have a... Hold on. I think it's Red Deer, isn't it? This is a Red Deer game. No, Radalika. It's Radalika. Wow. 
Bratalaika has a few, like, l really nice, like, little indie hits. Ugh. Trying to remember what other games they do quick off the top of my head, but I know I've got, I've got a few. That I... Don't they do Sword and Bone too, or is that Red Deer? At least when the drop is forming, you actually don't have to worry about it. It's really only... Oof, I almost got crushed there. It's really only once the drop is, is in motion that you can, like, hit it or make contact with it. I like to know what the coins are for. Because, like, the other dude's like, oh, I know about the coins, but he still hasn't told us what the coins are for. Ouch. That was unfortunate. Oh, but now we have drops there. Oh, but drops are not bad. Okay, I can't dash while I'm hurt. Okay, so if I dash towards a wall, I'm not sure what why they're showing me that I can dash towards a wall. Ouch. Hey, come on. Oh, I get it. If I dash towards the wall, I'm not jumping, so I, I don't get hit by the drop. I gotcha. Okay, because dashing towards the wall basically kept, keeps you stuck to it. So that way, like, we basically don't... We don't get hit by drops. What's this one? Okay, I've got to follow that thing up. Like, stay as close as I can, because most likely I'm going to sneak under it. That is it, but I'm going to have to... Oof. Yeah. This is going to be a little rough. We have to do two of these in a row. Okay, there's actually more room to maneuver in that. Oof, checkpoint. That was one of those good feeling checkpoints, because I'm like, I don't want to have to redo the first one. The first one felt like the tightest one. And now I know that's what she said. That was such a that's, that's what she said moment. Oof. Ah, no! At least the drops are not one-hit kills. Like, the spikes are one-hit kills, but the drops are... Ugh. Drops are not. Whew. There's a slight clicking sound coming from my mic. Hmm. Let me just try to unplug it and replug it. Hopefully I didn't totally lose my audio. I don't think so. Or maybe it's just because my wire is actually touching my leg. I did some cleanup around the studio and I changed the way my wires go by, but my mic now has its wire like coming straight across my desk. So hopefully that'll cl clear up the clicking sound. If not, let me know. Ouch. Ouch. This 
one's a little rough because I can't just dash into the spikes. But there we go. I thought it was rough, but it actually wasn't that bad. Man, this music's vibe is way better than the previous one. And I so dashed there, but I couldn't because I was hit. I kept forgetting that if I'm hit, I can't dash. It's funny because we've see, we saw at the beginning that you can kill... Um, that you can kill enemies, but we haven't... Uh, we haven't seen, like, real enemies like that till now. So, like, it's one of the first things we sh it showed us. Man, that is crazy as head. So you can actually control him while he's going crazy after being hit. He, he, he just like auto runs, so you, you just can't stay still. Ah! That was dumb. So we shot it. You can bounce on their heads as well, good to know. Try that if it is easier next time. Oof, that was a little tight. Him, we've got to hit him twice in quick succession. It's not just hitting him twice, hitting him twice in, in, the, in quick succession. Man, this is. So, I, I'm so glad that, like, I'm calling this like a return stream. We only missed like one week, but this is an awesome game to get for like a stream back. <laughs> oh, crap. I could have just jumped on their heads. True, Alex told me I can jump on their heads. And that was way easier than trying to dash while on such a tiny, tiny-ass platform. There's probably other platforms, but I'm not... Yeah, there's another one right behind me. So even if I'm... Ah! We got the checkpoint. Oof. Like, it's tough, but it's not crazy tough, at least. Like, I feel like as long as you put a little bit of dedication to each spot, uh, it's very doable for pretty much anyone with, a, like, a little bit of... As long as you take the time to just analyze where you need to go. Oof. That one was rough, though. Because we, we've gotten... I don't want to say far, but we've gotten decently... Oh, no. Ew. That was not what I wanted to do. That is crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> Trying to stay on that platform, man, with the, the freaking crazy head there was uh, not exactly obvious. Oof. Honestly, so, so far, I think we've gotten all the coins. Oh, is this where we get to use the coins? Awesome. Guys, I need to take a quick bio break, then we're going to check this out. I'll be back in like 
a minute. Come with me, Damon. Let's go upstairs for a quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Uh, maybe you guys are hearing the game feedback out of my um, out of my uh, speaker. Everyone, Alex is trying to ask if you, are you guys getting any feedback from the microphone or like a clicking noise on the microphone? Because he he's trying to figure out if it's his headphones or not. So spaceship, insert coin. Are we gonna play a shoot 'em up? We are gonna play a shoot 'em up. Yes, Too bad. Definitely we're gonna insert a coin, right? Three. Ah. <laughs> He's like disappointed, man. We've got a shit ton of coins, though, so like, oh my god. Like, like I'm just to let you guys know, the ship really moves slow. That's like the one thing about this so far that's like, a, I don't want to say frustrating, but the ship is moving slow as AF, man. And now I know I can destroy the asteroids, actually, so... I can actually just stick to a corner... ...and not have to, like, deal with it. Like, honestly, uh, it's not worth going cross-screen here, we're just worth taking care of, like, what's right in front of us. UGH! We're getting more coins, though. Like, how long are we supposed to play this for? Eight? I can't hold down the shoot button. I'm like, do I have to keep, like, smacking it? I do, unfortunately. Ten. Definitely, man. We're making way more coins than we're using. My god. I love how his expressions are getting crazier. Oh, there's a boss. Uh, he's a little, uh, rough. Come on, guys. Woo! Oh my god, I'd love to see how many hit points you have. I, 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 he has. I hope we don't reset the hit points like every time we die. Like, and now I've got, like, oh my god. It's just when we get to the corners that it's a little rough. If not, I've got the flow down. Oh, we got him.
This is awesome, man. So I guess that's what the coins are for? Ish? Oh, dang. Auto runner. I honestly, I had this huge feeling that eventually we would get like an auto runner section. It just felt like that's the perfect fit for this kind of game. Dang it. Ah! Okay, I was scratching myself there when I had to actually move at god speed. And I just messed up because I was a freaking guy that I had to hit twice. Checkpoint. This, okay, that I didn't, I didn't. I thought it was coming back now. Oh my god. That does not work. Oh my god, come on. I'm behind here. Oof. Another checkpoint. This timing is off. Oh my god. Like the timing is awful. It's worse than the timing when I got here the first time. So F the coin, man. We're gonna grab this one. F that other one. Ooh. My god. No, we were so close. Okay, that one we really have to like jump straight there and get Oh my god. Like the it's like the timing's getting worse every time I die. I have less time to react. Wah! That was not it. Man, I was so close that other time. What, is, what are they trying to show here? Is this what they're trying to show that I can like... Do crazy crap like this? So 
We can jump on them, it just seems to do less damage. And I'm so dumb, I jump straight into the water. Come on. Jump over it. It doesn't seem to be the way to do it. That's more efficient. Oof. This is only level two, right? Does the game say how many levels there are? Hold on, let's check this out. Oof. I'm already sweating. Many checkpoints to not get frustrated. Platform action gameplay. Nostalgic pixel art, epic boss battles, and funny story of heroism. Yep, I, I would say for once it's an adequate description. Um, no, 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 checkpoints. No, no, no. no, it does not say how many levels there are. You think you can grab the ceiling? I think. Well, you can you can sort of pause temporarily on it, but what what you can do is like go absolutely insane like that and bounce like off the ceiling. Obviously. Actually, okay. I was scared that the drop was gonna. I was scared that the drop hit me on that second, like, smaller platform, but it doesn't. If I, if I hang to the right of the platform, it doesn't touch me. So it actually gives me, like, some time to, to breathe and plan my next move. Which shouldn't have been that. Or, oh, well, it, the, the, the idea was good, the timing was off. World 2, level 8. 12 worlds. Oof. So it's actually going to be a pretty lengthy game because we're like only on like level 2. I'm just going to wait for it to come back up. Uh, that's why that doesn't work. Timing is off for the drops. Okay, just take it slow and steady. Ah! Thanks for his for oh thank you Cristobal. Thanks as usual for the game sales and playthroughs. Very appreciated, Cristobal. 20 month supporter. Thank you so much, my man, for all the continued support. Very appreciated. Like, okay, I almost jumped straight into nothingness, like right there. What like I'm about to do here. Come on! I can. I was sure I could clear that. Like, uh, the worst is, I'm sure I'm making this way harder than it needs to be. And there's probably a way easier path than the one I'm taking. Like this. Except not like that. That I should have jumped straight up. But now I have a... Come on! Thank <laughs> you. 
No, no. Oh my god. Oh my god, if I would have got my jump, my, my, my dash back like half a second earlier. That could have played out so much different. Oof. Like, honestly... <laughs> for speedrunners, you saw people in do, do it in two hours, but for you it was more like six, seven. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling I'm going to be easily in the six, second, uh, six, seven hour category. Yeah, diagonal dash upwards. Yeah, you're right. Like, that one just saved me there. Oh my god, I... The worst is I, I made it. Oh my god. <laughs> the worst is the probably the easiest section of all that was the one that I found hardest. Now we have to jump on these guys' backs. Oh, it's on their back. The hitbox seems... A oh my god. But this feels like a game that, like for speedrunners, probably when you've got the right global cycle, it's actually easier than what we're doing. Because since we're not on cycle, like, you've got to sort of adjust, which is not... I wanted to jump straight onto the first guy. Oof, okay. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but I'll take it. Oh my god. No problem, champ dancer. Don't worry about it. Thanks for showing up. Oh my god, guys. This is one of those butt clenching games. I may be taking it. Ah! Okay, so it's a boss fight. Not sure what we're supposed to be doing. We're just supposed to be dodging. God, man, this guy's driving me, like... There we go! Woof! 
Oof. We killed the dragonfish guy. Sure. Uh, Montreal's draft is okay, but like we're s I still don't see how we're gonna compete like high level next year. Like we're still gonna be a, a bottom tier team. Like, it, like I I just don't see Montreal's like every year, man. It's 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 disappointment after disappointment, champ. So it's it's hard to keep believing in a team that like hasn't delivered anything like serious for like what 25 years now like we've had like inklings of like getting to the second round or the third round but even when they would get there it was sort of just waiting for the for the drop to, you know like the, the other shoe to fall and our luck to run out or our spur to end because it doesn't feel like montreal has like a real shot and year because you know that, like, in the playoffs, we're never built for playoffs. We're decent, like, in the best years, we were decent for the main season. But we were never, ever, like, a playoff-built team. <laughs> well, that's it. We're talking about the Canadians, man. And, yeah, it's, it's the, like, we were one of the top teams till the 90s. Once the 90s hit, it was over. It's like, and yeah, it's a never, well, it's a never ending rebuild, but part of the reason it never works, but maybe now it'll finally, is they never really wanted to commit to a full rebuild. They've always been in sort of like half rebuild mode. Like, oh, we're not, we're rebuilding, but not really, we can still compete. You know what I mean? Like when you're in full rebuild mode, you just go and you say like for three years, we're not going to compete. Yeah, Ottawa's freaking off. But uh, yeah, you know, and the Maple Leafs have been like the biggest joke of the Canadian teams for the longest, but now they're the team that's the, that are doing the best. But, you know, honestly, you're rebranding, not rebuilding. Where are you? Wh wh which team are you? Who are you with? I, I forgot. Is it who? You, well, where are you from, uh, champ? Not Chicago, right? Or is it Chicago or Red Wings, Detroit? Yeah, you guys are rebranding, re like Metro Detroit. Okay. Are you guys like rebranding like you're actually changing like logo like name and everything or you're keeping the name but you're just sort of like rebranding like new logo and whatnot you're rebuilding yeah well it, like and the rebuild is fine like detroit has had a serious team for a lot of years they just never well not never but they 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 had a serious team, they just never, they were always missing a little spark to, like, get them. And, I'm trying to remember, I think Detroit's, like, the last time I saw them seriously in the playoffs, who was the goaltender? Because it's always the same thing. It's like, there's two things that'll get you to playoffs. It's, you, you need a goaltender that's just on fire for a year, or, like, just solid. Like, hockey is one of those sports where the goaltender is over is an over important role so you just can't get there if you don't have solid goaltending and you need a solid backup because the biggest problem too with hockey is that even if you have the best goaltender in the sport he can't play all the games and the postseason games so you've got to have a backup that's reliable enough that he can steal a couple of games left and right when he needs to play. And secondly, you need you need scoring forwards with size. That's the, the one thing. You need scoring score with forwards with size, not necessarily because the game is physical and 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 whatnot. It's that if your if your forwards don't have size, they're never going to last a season. They're always going to be injured. Whether you want to or not, when a big guy hits a small guy, there's more chances the small guy is going to be hurt, and there's less chances he's going to make it to through the playoffs without injuries. 
So it's that's like the that's the that's the one. Those are the two things you need. Good defense will get you amazing things, but they won't win you playoffs. They won't win you playoffs. So you're better off with like size forwards, solid goaltending, and solid defense. But you don't need star defensemen, in my opinion. Yeah, price messed up. Yeah, well, I saw it on the news. I didn't see it live because I didn't watch the dry the the draft. But it was all over the news here how how he messed up the draft name, the pick name. But anyway, you know it's. At least Price is somewhere around the team. I mean, they're paying him, so might as well have him do something. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to lose some power when we enter it, but don't worry. Oh, guys, hey, by the way, DJ No Good, four ninety nine. Love the pixel art soundtrack and challenge of this game. Looks like a definite pickup. I agree with you, DJ No Good. It does feel like an amazing pickup game. The one tiny thing is not actually game wise. It is a little bit pricey at 20 bucks. It's normal sales price is $20. However, no, it's not. It's 20 in Canada. Hold on. Hold on. It is 20 in Canada, but it is not 20 in the US. It is $14.99. And right now it's even 20% off for $11.99 which is actually pretty decent around that $10 price feels good. Like when you can, if you can get it around the $10 price. Yeah. Thank you, Barry. It is on sale 11 99, but if you, I feel like this game around the $10 price is going to be like a star game for one, someone looking for a challenge platformer. I think I froze there for a second. Not sure about you, but my stream looked like it froze there for a second. But I was saying, yeah, so this looks like a good challenge platformer around the $10 mark. 15 is maybe a ta asking for a tad lot, but 10 feels good. So yeah, $11.99, if you're really into the genre, I would say it's worth a, it's definitely worth a pickup. If not, give it a, give it, I would say like two or three months and we'll see this one under 10. Uh, like it's good, but it's going to be one of those games nonetheless that it's not going to have main, you know, main appeal draw. So we're going to see probably in a few months um, it drop under 10. I actually got my physical copy of Celeste today. And by the way, champ, I'm still waiting on my freaking pixel art Final Fantasy. It is now 39 days that it, it's been shipped. And I now I sent out a message for Play Asia. They're tracking it for me because we're way beyond the normal delivery time. And that sucks because it comes with my double copy of Enter and Exit the Dungeon. And those are two games that I really wanted to have the physical versions of because I actually want to play. Like Final Fantasy, I'm not going to play them all, but I definitely want to... I, I think I, I want to replay 6 and 4. I'm going to replay 4 and 6. Probably not on stream, but on my off time. And... Um, I really, really am looking forward to though, that copy. And I'm like, now I'm sort of getting a little pissed that it's not here because I'm actually going on vacation next week. That's what I had to talk to you guys about. Because although we took a week off because of the unfortunate family business, um, we're, we're going to be streaming next week. But the week after, unfortunately, we're going to be skipping again because I decided to book a week with the family uh, down south. We've had like a rough go of it the, the last like two or three months, like a lot of bad news back to back to back. So we are um, we are going to go take a week uh, down south and uh, relax a bit. So unfortunately, the channel is going to be quiet for a week again. And it sucks because it's coming at a really bad time because I just took a week off because of everything or even a week and a half off. But um, I'm going to let you guys all know now for the people that are regulars here. Okay, Damon's been a little pain in the butt, uh, which is one of the reasons I was taking this break. I was hoping he'd settle down, but he's been a little pain. He's laying on me, but he's like trying to get off the chair and go run after the cat, which I do not want him doing. Um, give me just a tiny second, guys. I'm going to... Oh, oh no, you're settling down now. Okay, 
I think he felt that I was about to put him upstairs because he's not. Yes, I did get... Um, oh, uh, yes, I did get your reply, Mr. Smiley. Don't worry, I'm going to hook you up this weekend. Don't worry, my man. It always takes me a few days because my card, I buy too many gift cards. So it always takes a few days for gift card purchase to get authorized. But it'll be coming very soon. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. It's just because they're... It, and, you know, some people wonder because when you buy in the U.S., it's probably not that bad, but it's because I'm buying international cards. Like my card's a Canadian card and I'm buying U.S. cards. So for credit card companies, that's like a big like, oh, my God, fraud, you know, fraud, blah, blah, blah. So because I buy almost only U.S. cards, like they always like every like four or fifth card, they like block me for 48 hours. And by block, it's just like they they freeze the transaction, and after forty four hours, they let it go through. But yeah, me um, as I'm at like normally it's normally it's about three weeks for me. Play Asia is normally around three weeks, so about twenty twenty to twenty four days, and. Like, we've had a couple of holidays, so I was like, okay, I'm going to give it a few extra days. But when I got to 35 days, I was like, okay, we're way beyond where we should be. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm going to I'm gonna put Damon upstairs really quickly because he's been a little pain. And we're going to go into a new section of the game, so I want to be focused. I'll be right back once again. The joys of being home alone. Say goodbye, Damon. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Yes, I love you too. He's such. A, it's too bad because he's a loving dog. It's just that obviously for him staying seated, doing nothing for like two, three hours, it's a little much. Oof, okay. <laughs> you hope to see me rage quit, my man? Not gonna happen. But, um, hey, by the way, yeah, yeah, you guys have to remind me, this is a new shirt I have. It's, a, it's my new Boo shirt, and it's actually glow-in-the-dark. I want to see, I don't know if I can make it work with the studio lights, but we're going to try. Before we end the stream tonight, I'm going to try to see if we can see my, my glow-in-the-dark Boo shirt on camera. It, I know I see it when I go to the bathroom, so I do think that it works. Oh, you just had that with, uh, yeah. But me, like me, I know it got shipped on May 29th. Like I, I was following, uh, I was following uh, the, um, what you might call it? I was following the tracking. The only problem is once it hits Canada, I lose I lose the tracking from PlayAsia because it gets handed off here to Canada Post and they have a different tracking number, but it's not on the PlayAsia tracking. But most likely if they do a track, like they'll get it. So they'll know where it is in Canada. And there was like, basically there was no update. Um, there was no update to it be since um, there was no update to it since June 11th, which is quite a while. Okay, uh, my brother went ahead first, and I know he's doing a great job in there. This portal leads to Dimension G. Is 
this like the G spot? <laughs> what? Okay. How come I okay? How come I can't move? I got it. Well, I I thought I got it, but apparently I do not. Dang. This is gonna be uh so basically you can control fast or slow. Ugh. Please tell me that there are checkpoints at one point. <laughs> so far. Okay, there are. Thank God. That was like, m holy crap. But I love this, man. They're, they're like alternate play game modes. Boom! We made it! Okay. Oh, that's how you do the spin! You have to not just jump at the wall, you have to dash at the wall. Trying to do what they say to do, but it's not working. I'm like, F that, I'm just gonna take the safe path. God, come on. Uh, uh. It's not uh, really giving me a chance to recover here. Ooh, that big fire thing kills you in one shot. Ooh, Ooh my God, I get. Ooh. God dang it. I want up, not diagonal. Damn you. No. Like there's like safe zones. Oh my god. Oof. God dang it. 
then I get impatient and I die here to stupid shit. Like that. Might get your wish there. <laughs> and take way more than this to get them to rage quit on something. Maybe that. Holy flying. This one is driving me nuts because it just doesn't give me time to react. Ugh, like this. Oh, checkpoint, checkpoint. Woo! In your face. Oh my god. F you, bro. Now that I think I have to do a super jump, I have no choice there. Ugh, I'm looking at all the different ways. But not like that. Big, like the fact that those big fire things kill you in one shot is really ruining my day. Oh, there's no fire out of this one. Oh my god, Damon's whistling again. Rage mode was activated. Oh, I wasn't looking and I almost got hit by a random ghost. I glitched there for no reason. <laughs> I like teleported because I didn't jump or anything. The character just pure glitched out there for a second. It happened there again. Yeah, look, it glitches out on the platforms. Oh. I, if I run straight from like one platform like that to another, it like glitches out for a second. Ugh, but that killed me. Look, I can run straight over the platforms, and instead of dropping, he, like, glitches out. Oh, my God. There again. Oh, those platforms are glitchy.
Look. Boom. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha. Honestly, with a game like this, where it's like, you know, frustration is sort of built into it, I don't feel bad glitching stuff out. I'll take every advantage I can get. Oh, Legend of Heroes from NIS. Legend of Heroes, the only thing about it is it's so expensive when it first releases. Like, I, the games are amazing, don't get me wrong, but I think they're asking for like a hundred bucks for the special edition on Switch, on a, like digital. Oh, that was not what I wanted. Oh, once again, not what I wanted. Oof, how the heck am I supposed to do that? the coin here by the way guys Ooh, okay just made it. These are pure Bowser fights, man. I guess I just have to push them back into the spikes, right? Oh, okay. Less odd, not not as easy as I thought. Definitely. Wait till he does the bottom fire. And I start beating his butt. Ugh. Not sure what I'm hitting that. Way. I guess I just have to air keep air like jumping till he gets there. Rah. Hello, Sir Chronic. How you doing? Like this. No! Ah! That was painful. I just have to get him in the middle, and I have to I have to stick the landing once I've got him in the 
fire. All I gotta do is stick the last. Oh, I... <laughs> Definitely one out of ten, man. Like, anywhere but the spikes is good. I hit the spikes. Oh, dude, I'm like a second too slow. We go. Uh, this is fourteen ninety nine, but it's on sale right now for eleven ninety nine. That wasn't even the boss. God dang it! Ugh. That was just a checkpoint, man. I was like, yay, end of level boss. Nope. We missed a coin, but you know what? How come he gets to survive the spikes and I don't? Sort of doesn't feel fair. Honestly, though, this must be an amazing game to speedrun. Like, I've got to give props. The movement system, once you got this and you can, like, probably run through this without even taking, like, a second, this must be, this must feel, an, like, amazing to speedrun. Oh, my God, guys. Beer's almost done, and I don't have a backup for tonight, so once this beer is done, I'm out of beer for tonight. Hey, Topaz, how are you doing? Oh no, Topaz, your eye. Oh. Hold on, her eye is set. Uh... I know you don't like it, but it's for your own good. You had like a little bit of runny eye. Gotta clear it out, because or else it gets infected, and then she has like, she has one shut eye for a while. Happens to her every now and then. She's a rescue, so she she has uh, like a, apparently it's like a virus that cats can get, and so every now and then she gets like one of uh, like one of her eyes like infected. And um, but when we got her, it was like that. So, but we love her. It's funny because. I don't know if I ever told guy told you guys the story about how we got Topaz, but basically, you know, when my daughter was one year old, we finally decided to get, a, like, a pet, because before that, we didn't have any, just because we had too many young kids, and, and it takes a lot of time, and when we, you know, we knew that the last, like, we knew that the last one was going to be the last one, <laughs> so we were like, okay, it's time to get, like, a family pet, so 
there was like a shelter that was about to they were doing like a because basically here even when you get a cat from a shelter it costs like a couple of hundred bucks so uh but there was a shelter nearby that basically put a message out that they had too many cats and um they were soon gonna have to put some down unless you know people picked up the cats and um basically because of that rather than being 200 bucks the cats were basically free or any donation that you wanted to make so we went down to the shelter with my one-year-old and we, you know we left the other kids at home because going there like five people is not an ob is not an obvious thing um and basically we started looking for a kitty cat and basically the way it works there is like they've got like an open space where you go in and all the cats are like chilling and whatnot like the cats that aren't sick are all chilling in one huge open space so you go in like this open space and there's like 30 40 cats in there and they're all chilling and basically my my one-year-old uh, walks it like she's she's just learning to walk so she's like waddling around and all the cats are ignoring us, not paying attention whatsoever. And then all of a sudden, Topaz sees my daughter and she like runs up to her and starts like walking around her, her legs and like basically rubbing up against her. Like, you know, like, like, oh, hey, what's up? You know, I want to play with me. So we're like, oh, OK, cool. You know, like this cat's friendly. All the other ones are like basically ignoring us. So she's super friendly and then my daughter basically grabs her tail and yanks it so we're like oh my god you know like the cat's gonna bite her or like or like scratch her or whatnot because she still had her claws and topaz like basically totally ignored her and just like sort of wiggled her tail out of her hand and just ru kept kept rubbing up against her so we're like oh my god this is the perfect cat because even if my one-year-old pulls her tail when when the cat doesn't even know her like she's not even like clawing her or, or anything and like it you know it, it was awesome and we wouldn't have even been angry if topaz would have clawed her because like she's the one who pulled her tail like we were expecting it uh, and i was like oh my god so that is how we chose topaz and I'll be totally honest with you, when we first saw Topaz, she was not the prettiest cat. Because, like, in those shelters, like, although it's cool because they have a space to live... Oh my god. Because they have a space to live, um, like, the cats, since they are, they're sort of free to roam around and they can go outside, the cats weren't the cleanliest, and I don't think they're feeding, they were feeding them, like, premium food. So, like, her fur was, like, matted and, and, and sort of not very shiny. So she wasn't the prettiest cat, but she was the friendliest cat. And then we brought her home, and after like a month of feeding her like the really good food and all that, well, she became the beautiful cat she is today, all black with a shiny coat of fur. And we love her a lot. She's been with us now for like 11 years. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I thought I'd share the story of Topaz. How Topaz came to be our cat. Topaz doesn't like kisses. Damon likes kisses. Topaz doesn't like kisses. I still try to kiss her, but she doesn't. She doesn't appreciate it. Ugh. I, that's what I have to do. Though, basically, not that, but I have to get around this. Ugh. No, I could F the coin, but. This feels like why? We have to, we're just gonna wait till the platform comes back and get there. Oof. Okay, got through that screen. Yeah, Topaz wants to play. Topaz is happy that Damon's upstairs now, so like Topaz wants to play. Sorry, guys. Uh, just take two seconds. Oh, we have a save and quit. So we can save, nice. So we're at world three seven. Uh, what did I just do? Oh my God, thank God. 
Okay, so we have the answer. You can save and quit, and you start exactly at the latest checkpoint. Oof, world 3-7, guys. Man, do you know how scared I was that I just lost, like, all of our progress tonight? <laughs> I was like, holy crap. Ugh, ugh. No. These ghosts are annoying the crap out of me. Oh my god, that fire is like it's like waiting for me to decide to be there. Ooh. Okay. Oh. 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 <laughs> and this game is, uh, it's intense. It has intense moments. It's super simple controls, yet really. Like, I'm pretty sure there's better movements than the ones I'm using for doing a lot of this stuff. Like, the, the, the crazy super jumps and stuff must be... Ugh, why did I get impatient there? I had a good thing going on. Ah, oh my god. That's why. So, the pipe ones are safe because they don't crush you, but you can get burned on them. Ugh. Ugh. Hurts again. Ugh. There must be a flow to this that I'm not getting. I, I, the thing is, I'm doing the same movements over again and I'm expecting different results. Which is really not the way to go about this. We're gonna do one platform at a time, but that doesn't work. I can't do that. Can't do that either. What the heck? Okay, so that worked. You have to go, uh, Champ Dancer. Awesome, man. Have a nice trip. Well, no problem. If you show up next week, we have one last stream before I go on vacation for a week. But I'm going to try to get like a few videos ahead of time so that I can maybe schedule them during the week I'm off so that there isn't zero stuff coming out for a week because YouTube sort of hates that. Like, honestly, since I came back, like all the videos have been getting no traction. Even my huge controller video that like took me forever to make, which is fine, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm just venting a bit like that video took me forever to make and I'm like it's getting zero traction and I'm like what the heck man but YouTube really hates you when you like take a break apparently because it's like oh no one's watching your content and you're not putting out as many videos you must not be like <laughs> interesting anymore so I'm like sure I don't know how I survived that, but I'm not gonna complain. Dude. After this, guys, I have 15 minutes left on episode 4 of The Witcher. Season 3. I'm so sad to see Henry leave, man. So sad. Mm -hmm. 
honestly, like, I just don't see anyone else as the Witcher after watching that. Okay, we have another, like, pose. You know what I just realized? We haven't talked about the heart meter in forever in the game. Like, they showed us that, like, it's like a big thing. And, like, I'm not sure we're really seeing progress. Are we really getting any closer? I love the, like, piccolo standing spots here, but... Woof! Boom! 3-9, are we at the boss? Woof. I thought these were falling platforms, which is why I was, like, rushing, but apparently they are not. But honestly, this game, sometimes it feels like when you rush, it's actually better. It makes it easier. Not like that. I just needed to stay on the side there. I have to do that. I have to jump on the outside of the pipe. But I'm just not staying stuck to the wall. And I'm pressing Y, but it's just not sticking me to the wall. Ugh, that was bad. Wait, wait. Oh, just a little too much. <sighs> Come on. I was all chill there on the... Okay, man, I, I, it's not even giving me time to, like, jump. I feel like I stay stuck on stuck on the worst sections. Come on. Oh, I feel like if I can get on top of it and jump right at the right moment, I'm okay. Come 
Okay. Oof. Please do not. Uh, no. Oh, do not die. Now. And I'm like. <laughs> Honestly, I just don't feel like the coin was the difficulty there. Like. I felt like no matter what, I would want to go the way that the cone goes. Oh, that glitched out again. The the, the, pl the falling platforms have like an invisible like area that you, you actually jump onto the platform even if you're not touching it. Did we get a did we get a checkpoint? Because I feel like there is like I hadn't I haven't touched a checkpoint in like forever. Uh, please not all the way there. Okay, no. That was like so Lucky, but then not really because I didn't really get any. enjoying the death animations. Honestly, I think I've stopped looking at them at this point. Oh, guys, the beer is done. Bad sign. I think we're going to finish off World 3, guys. Then we're going to take a little break. I'm going to try and see if I can get my, my glow-in-the-dark shirt to actually show on camera. That was obviously not the way to do that. So we we are officially at a boss fight and I, I can yeah can I stop hitting any like everything hitting me? What the f? Okay, the power meter is at the top. Ugh, I can't jump. No, it's a save. Ugh, that was not good. Oh my god. I basically have to go around this, hit him, go around this, hit him, go around this, hit him, twice that time. Ooh, don't, don't, don't. I need the dash. Oh, we got it. Okay. There we go. Just had to get the flow down. Level World 4. So we're like halfway through the game, guys. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. 
Gonna be finishing this one up probably like over the next day or two. Yeah, I, I agree. They could be a little... Oh, it's 12 zones, not 8. Damn, I don't know why I had 8 in mind. God dang, so it's a third of the way. Damn it. We're only a third of the way through. Not even, because we'd have to finish zone 4 to be a third of the way through. So we're like a quarter of the way through. That sucked. <laughs> I'll, I'll still I'll still finish it over the next couple of days because like what this was like two hours of gameplay and theoretically I play a little better when I'm not on stream <laughs> when I'm not trying to read the uh, chat and everything and the animals aren't going crazy whistling and everything um let's see if I can get my shirt to glow in the dark let's see if I can get it dark enough in here where the shirt's actually gonna glow in the dark I'm going to close the studio lights. I'll be right back and we'll see if we can get the shirt to glow. Ugh. I know there's too much light, man, from the screens. It sucks. There's too much light from the computer screens. It's glowing as soon as I'm over here. Like as soon as I'm off camera, you can see it glow. Dang it. That sucks. <laughs> ah. Like, honestly, if it, if it wasn't a huge hassle to actually turn the camera into, like, the off-screen zone. Uh, but it, it really sucks, because as soon as I move a little bit off-screen, it, like, glows. But, like, basically the screens are too much on themselves. Just the, the computer screens here. Like, it's it's it, it doesn't seem like it, but they give off a ton of light. Ah, uh, too bad. Too bad, guys. But, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the game tonight. Honestly, I had a ton of fun playing it. Like, it is a really, really fun one. I was worried at first because, like, the presentation of the game could go both ways. Like, I found the presentation of the game really interesting, the art style and all that. But then I was worried, like, if it's just a cop-out and the controls aren't, like, tight and responsive, we're gonna... It's gonna fail pretty hard. And... Yeah, um, you're probably right, but it's it's too much. Yeah, exactly. I'll I'll put I'll put like a set. I'll, I'll put a selfie. I'll go with like I'll go in the bathroom and take like a, a selfie in the uh, in the mirror, and you guys can see in the community chat. I'll put it in the community chat like 10, 15 minutes after we're done stream. I'll put it up. I'll put it up, guys. Okay. Hey, Topaz. Topaz wants to come back on me. Come here. Yes, I love you. No, she does not. Oh yeah, she's said only. Okay. Hey guys. So tonight was a fun one, and honestly, it feels good to be like fully back. I feel till I do a stream, I'm not like fully back. Like you know, I did a video, I did a, I did the controller video, I did a review, I did one eShop deals. We have another one probably coming out tomorrow-ish. I've got another video, a special one I'm working on. Uh, gonna be a fun one, I think. I think it's gonna be a fun one. Uh, did you guys get an ad? Damn it. Sorry, guys. Sorry about the ads. I forgot. I didn't manage to catch that one. Uh, but I was saying, yeah, so we... Um, I'm gonna try to get a fun one out this weekend, too, if I can. It's gonna be a little rough, though, because even though the wife's not here tonight... Uh, she's gonna be getting back tomorrow and we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna try to spend some time with uh, the wife, the daughters, and whatnot. But, um, and then next week we're gonna get back into the swing of things. And 
It just sucks because we're going to break the flow when I go on vacation. Like, I need the vacation, but at the same time, it sort of comes at a weird time because I feel like YouTube's just going to start liking the channel again and I'm going to be gone another week, which would really suck. But um, yes, sir, guys, hey, thank you for everyone that showed up. Thank you for all the likes, man. With 21 likes on the on the ch on the on the stream is awesome because we're just about 20 people in here on average. I hope you guys like the game. It's a it's going to be a good one, and it's probably going to be in, in an eShop video. We're like, not the next one because we're going to do an under five dollar one. We haven't done one in a uh, like the cat stream yet. <laughs> I should I, I should, uh, I'll try and have a topaz cam. But it's because she doesn't stay seated. That's the problem. Is if she would like sit in like a basket or something and just be there, I put a topaz cam up. But she walks around all the time. She's a very active cat. She doesn't really like sitting down and doing nothing. But uh, yeah, so that's it. So hey guys, it was a fun one. Thank you for showing up, and you know, thank you for like I said once again all the well wishes you guys gave me last week. It really did help a lot, and. Um, we're going to have a great end of year for this year. You know, no matter what happens in the in the personal life, what's also always awesome is I have you guys here at the channel and it's a, it's an awesome outlet for for when I'm feeling down. I just needed a couple of days off camera because honestly, it, I was just not feeling it. And you know, making videos when you're not feeling it isn't the best thing. <laughs> so, hey, have a great evening everyone, and as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.